The left is training for civil war. Hey guys, Rex here. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention in recent news, but Antifa is providing armed security, armed security for their drag shows. And they're looking like they want to have contact. If you've been paying attention, and if you're trained of what to look for, or if you know the craft, they are receiving professional help. Now, a couple years ago in 2020, I don't know if you guys remember when they were coming through during their riot tour of the United States. They're coming through maybe an area sort of close to where I'm at. And I kind of shared with you at that time how that worked out for them. When that was happening, I was in working in conjunction with some local sheriff's departments that were in adjacent counties and adjacent states, sharing information, visiting about it, getting a heads up. And they had professional help. Their electronic warfare capabilities, all their other stuff they had, the organizational stuff, they were getting professional help. And although we had plop, plopped our ass comfortably under a tree, like the tortoise and the hare story, the rabbit, oh, I'm winning the race. I have a gun and I have a flag and I listen to Toby Keith. How could you be the guy with, with who listens to Toby Keith? I wear a shirt from the 70s that's like a cowboy shirt and I have my work boots on. There's no way in hell that these whippersnappers could ever get me. You know, we need to adjust our myopic paradigms or wake up to, to the fact that we might have a wrong idea. We're looking at the externalities and the style and the clothing we're looking at the mannerisms and we're not looking at the core operating principles of these groups. The level of seriousness these guys are taking is indicating to me they're just as serious as you are or more serious in a lot of cases. You know, people have complained over the last couple of years when we're doing our different training, right? We started for certain classes employing screening and filters, prerequisites, and I'm not trying to sell you a class. We don't, we're, our 2022 cycle's over. So I'm not selling you a class. I am telling you they are infiltrating institutions set up by 2A guys to receive professional training, sharpen their skills. These guys, watch their weapons handling now. And yes, there's plenty of examples of goop balls that don't know what the hell's going on. Watch some of their weapons handling. These are professionals. They've been, a lot of them have been trained. I'm not talking just about yeah, there's the guys who have the badge under their coat, right? Not talking about those guys. They're getting professional training on weapons handling, immediate action drills, marksmanship, and tactics. And they're hoping for something to go down. Because then, I mean, like, look up how this deal works. The essence of UW, the way it's been explained to me by guys who do this, is to tweak your enemy just enough to get you to overreact and jump right into their trap, a bear trap. So be careful of that one. I mean, why do you think they're choosing the venues in which they're protecting? They are rubbing your face in it. They're find a place that's pissing all over the institutions of the former institutions of learning, former institutions of enlightenment, like libraries and schools and your children. They're pissing all over all of that stuff that you treasure, standing there armed. What are you going to do about it? That's the UW trap. Now, you can continue to not learn and jump straight into the bear trap, or you can start to understand what makes these people tick and also vet and verify those within your own gates. Because the operating system between these guys and people that might be within your gates now in the 2A community and in other venues that are wearing red, white, and blue, they wear the grunt style shirt. How could you say anything against those guys, Rex? They're veterans with grunt style shirts. They're probably good. They like guns too. That is a superficial trick. And it's not all conscious. Most of these guys don't even know that in the very core of their being, they are absolutely adhering to the principles of the stuff that they think the enemy is doing. We're going to talk about that on the next video, which is going to be the Patreon video, talking about the eight core litmus tests you can do to find out if someone in your circles is actually on their, the, the other people's 
operating system. Well, so-and-so I don't think is a commie. I mean, they're posting all this patriotic stuff. You can wear a cowboy hat and have an American flag on the back of your Ford truck and be a freaking communist to the core and you would never know. And, you're, and you believe that you are American, but you're actually poisoned. You can't admit that you have cancer. And the cancer is this program that has infiltrated your mind and is coming out your right hand through your actions. You have to be able to look at what people are doing to discern what their operating system truly is because I am telling you that when this age of prosperity goes down and there's a little bit of pressure, these people wearing cowboy hats and driving pickup trucks with flags in them and even Gadsden flags, your 2A enthusiast guys, a majority of them will end up being in the exact same operational camp as these Antifa guys. Now they'll have two warring factions because one wears cowboy hats and the other one wears black pajamas. But they're both operating on the same malfunctions because we've been infiltrated for a long time and people are obtuse to what the operating system actually is. We are only looking at externalities. We do not know the core principles. I'm gonna talk about that. There are eight, spe eight specific points I'm putting on the Patreon video, detailing exactly what to look for in that. This is not a time to jump in their UW trap, guys. If you haven't noticed, the good people in this country are terrible at their operational planning, and they have no idea how to do it. They have no idea how to execute it. They jump into the traps before, and then they're surprised. Rex, they're not even giving those people who went to Washington a trial. They're just sitting in a dungeon. I know. <laughs> I know. I told you. Don't be a chump. Be careful. And do not assume that these guys are just screwballs. We made fun of them when they were kids. But like any other tree or any other thing that grows, at some point... It reaches maturity. This outfit, the militant left is reaching its maturity stage and they're starting to bear their fruit and they're getting serious. And for if I had to do an honest to God assessment, and I've talked to professionals who do these assessments as a job, as SOF guys, right? Green Berets, SEALs, force multipliers that go and evaluate different tribes and trying to figure out like, all right, let's do an actual study. We're going to get like 14 guys in a room, all with their own specialties. Let's look at the area, see what's going on. What are the vulnerabilities? What are the points where we can access? I talked to these guys and they're telling me, Rex, the 2A community is infiltrated. The Patriot community is infiltrated. Half the Patriots that think they're Patriots are just simply wearing the jersey of their team, red, white, and blue. And they don't realize that they are actually in their heart, even more communist than the very people they are trying to say they are against. And furthermore, to recap, the radical left is training harder than you are. They're more serious. Watching Lonesome Dove 24 hours a day and watching Tombstone and the media, you know, culture is not going to make it go away. And remembering one time in your glory days when you were tough at the bar and played that song, we'll put a boot in their ass because we do what they say. It's the American way. If we don't get serious, you're, you're going to discover in a very rough way that powers shift in history. Nobody thinks it can happen to their country. Look at Russia before the Bolshevik Revolution. Totally different deal. How did that happen? Look at how this deal happens. Have you ever been to a country where there's Maoist revolutions and overthrows of the government and nobody noticed until it was too late and then they were in denial when it was there? We're going to talk more about this. If you don't understand... Back in uh, Dusseldorf in 1919, they discovered a document, the Allied forces did, that was the communist rules for revolution. And there are a number of steps that they use to corrupt the youth. And you're thinking, kids, what about when you were a youth? 
they corrupted you before you matured as an adult and now it's solidified in your very core, are you displaying the traits of that corruption? Yes, I bet we all do. So it's extremely important to understand how this works. So some of this I'm not gonna put in the public here because I don't want this to degenerate into a fruitless pissing contest with, with people that are not going through the proper filters, right? But uh, we're going to talk about that more on Patreon in the next video. Um, also, I forgot to mention this, guys. If you are looking for one of those um, uh, Arkin scopes that we're talking about, the SH4s that have a deal on, I don't know how long the sale is. I got a lot of comments in the last one asking me, Hey, Rex, how long is the sale? Are they in stock? I'm not them. I don't know. I'm j I was told by Mike that the deal is on, so you have to go and check with them. See, I mean, if you want that... I'll leave you a link to that below too, the R, um, Rex 170 code. It's maybe 170 bucks off stuff that's now below $300. Um, so when you get the CPAC, it's a pretty good deal. Also, if you want to do serious training, I'm not selling you a class for me. I don't make anything from what my bro saw is doing, okay? But if you want to receive training, I don't know. Don't ask me this one either because I don't know his schedule. But I think he's got a few slots on his high-end stuff. So I will leave a link to his stuff below too. I don't make anything from that. There's no peripheral advantage to me doing that. I do it because I want you to have access to something if you're looking for it. Go and sharpen up, guys, while you can. Everyone's sitting there emoting about how, oh, the ATF is going to like make it not us able to have guns. Probably better learn how to use what you have before you get more Probably better learn how to be dangerous in the good way. I hope you guys are listening. I'm dead serious. The only reason this makes me a little angry is because I don't want mine to grow up in the shit. Because I failed to do my part in trying to improve it. You need to be. You need to start with the individual first. You need to get stronger. You need to self-identify malfunctions. Are you being corrupted by the same forces you say you're here to fight? Are you setting yourself up for failure? And then don't assume you're Rambo. <laughs> Man, I don't know how to say it in a loving way, but like, unless you are serious about it and go, go through and do the things. So many people have this idea that they're like, oh, you know, I can be in a, I watched enough gunfights and movies, Rex, I know how this works. No. Or even myself, well, I like, you know, 20 years ago, I like went through all this training and did all this stuff with these guys were in camouflage, you know. That has an expiration date on it. And it's not superimposable from that world onto this new system. When you take that kind of training, like if you're in the army, that's awesome, or in the Marines or whatever, that's awesome. But what you do there is learn how to be a cog in the gears of a giant machine that is set up to do a different purpose than what you're trying to do. You're trying to preserve your liberty for you and your family. You need to figure out how you can extract concepts and parts and reassemble it into something that's useful in your new context, in your new with your new limitation of certain capabilities. When you get older, your physicalities go down sometimes, but other things like wisdom and maturity and some other things go up. So how do you set that up in a realistic way for success? Um, be serious. And I'm not going to tell you what to train. Like, just go and get serious. All right. You guys have a good day. I'll leave the links to Patreon below. Thanks to all the subscribers. By the way, if, if you are subscribed to Patreon, also double check that you still subscribe because, like, there's been stuff going on with the computers and stuff. You got to double check that. If you do want to make it more secure, you can do the, there's like a 16% discount if you do the annual one. 16% off, uh, which is a good deal. I'll try to leave the instructions for that below as well. Because then you don't have to remember each month, you know. Because guys are like, where's your videos? I didn't see them. It's like, dude, like, you got to, you're only on the month deal. So, if you want to do that, I'll leave that for you as well. Thank you for supporting the operation. Um. You guys have a good rest of the day and enjoy the weekend. All right, Rex out.